sadly customary in the lead up to Anzac Day each year for there to be the inevitable speculation about the day's continuing relevance to contemporary generations and the speculation about how difficult it is to imagine the conditions and the circumstances under which those who left these shores to fight in the two world great conflicts could have coped in such circumstances. And Mr Speaker, on last Anzac Day morning, the crash that occurred at Pukarua Bay and claimed the lives of Flight Lieutenant Hayden Madsen, Flying Officer Daniel Gregory and Corporal Benjamin Carson, and allowed the miraculous escape of Sergeant Stephen Cregan, I think gave a relevance to New Zealanders of what the day is all about and the sacrifice of those who had gone before in so many previous conflicts had encountered during the course of such conflict. We take for granted our freedom today that is said often during the Anzac Day commemorations. We also take for granted the presence and the contribution of our armed forces and the expectation that they will always be there to do their duty. Mr Speaker, these young men were doing their duty on Sunday morning. They could not have contemplated as they set off the circumstances that were about to befall them. And like others, sir, I join with people right across New Zealand in expressing to the families of those young men, to their wider Air Force family, and to all New Zealanders with a connection to the services, a sense of absolute sadness, of deep shock, but huge admiration for their dedication and their commitment. As the previous speaker said, age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. We will remember them. We will always remember the sacrifice of those who have done so much to secure the circumstances in which we live today. And I simply say to the families and the friends that while these times will be difficult and sad and stressful, there will be long-term consolation for them in knowing the regard in which they were held, the admiration of the service they performed and the call to dedication and duty that they demonstrated. May they rest in peace.